how to identify perfect square or non-perfect square so to identify whether it's perfect or non-perfect first let's see what are perfect square numbers what is the speciality of perfect square number so if you look at the perfect square number a perfect square number will always have the unit digit 0 or 1 or 4 or 9 or 6 or 5 it never has the unit digit 2 3 7 8 so a perfect square number always has the unit digit 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9. The unit digit will never be 2, 3, 7, 8. Next, if you look at the tens digit of a perfect square numbers, see if the unit digit is 1, 4, 9 or 5, its tens place will be an even number. If the unit digit is 1, 4, 9, 5, tens place will be an even number that is a perfect square so if the unit digit is 1 or the 4 or 5 or 9 its tens place will be odd number so even number will be an even number and if you look the perfect square with the unit digit 5, its tens place will always be 2. So, even number and will always be 2. Let's take another perfect square. This is 25 square is 625. So, the unit digit is 5, tens place is 2. 35 square is 1, 2, 2, 5. So, unit digit is 5, tens place is 2. So, if for a perfect square number, if the unit digit is 5, its tens place will always be 2. And if the unit digit is 6, tens place will be an odd number. If the unit digit is 6, tens place is odd number. If the unit digit is 6, tens place is an odd number. So, the perfect squares, uh, unit digit is 1, 4 or 5 or 9, tens place is an even number and if the unit digit is 6, tens place will be an odd number. That is a perfect square number speciality. Next, a perfect square number, if its unit digit is 0, then check its tens place. Tens place will always be 0. So, it has even number of zeros. Perfect square numbers will have even number of zeros if its unit digit is 0. Um, Let's take uh, that is 20 square is 400. So, even number of zeros in it. If suppose the number is this. You can say it is not a perfect square number. Because the number of zeros is odd. So, it is not a perfect square number. So, perfect square number will have even number of zeros. Next. A perfect square number, when you divide by 8, if you take a perfect square number and divide by 8, see, let's take a perfect square, uh, this one, 16. 16 divided by 8, reminder is 0. Then 36 divided by 8, reminder is 4. 64 divided by 8, reminder is 0. 100 divided by 8, reminder is 4. So, if you take a perfect square number and divide by 8, and if it is an even perfect squares, when you divide by 8, will leave the reminder 0 or 4. If you take odd number, odd perfect squares, let's take odd perfect square and divide by 8, reminder is 1. Odd number, divide by 8, 49 divided by 8, reminder 1. 81 divided by 8, reminder 1. 121 divided by 8, reminder is 1. So, if you take odd perfect squares and divide by 8, reminder will always be 1. And if you take any even perfect squares and divide by 8, reminder will be either 0 or 4. That is perfect squares. Next, if you take a perfect square and find the digit sum, the digit sum will always be 0 or 1 or 7 or 9. So, 0 or digit sum of the perfect squares will be 1 or 4 or 7 or 9. Let's take example 289. It is a perfect square number. So, the digit sum. How to find the digit sum? Let's add the digits. 2 plus 8 plus 9 leave you 19. So, we have to continue this addition till we get the single digit. 1 plus 9 is again 10. So, again add 1 plus 0. It's 1. So, the digit sum of the perfect square will always be either 1 or 4 or 7 or 9. Let's take another perfect square number. That is 144. 
So 1 plus 4 plus 4, which is 9. So the perfect square number always have the digits of 1, 4, 7 or 9. Then it will have the unit digit 0 or 1 or 4 or 5 or 6 or 9. And if you look at the tens digit, unit digit is 4, 1, 4, 5, 9 means tens place will be an even number. If the unit digit is 6, tens place will be an odd number. And when you take a perfect square number and divisible by 8, if you check the divisibility by 8, but as the even perfect square number will have the reminder 0 or 4. If it is odd perfect square number, we'll leave the reminder 1. And the digit sum of the perfect square number will always be 1 or 4 or 7 or 9. So these are the four tests we have to do to check whether a number is perfect square or non-perfect square. And a perfect square number will pass all these four tests. If any of these tests is failed, if a number fails in any of these tests, then you can say that it is a non-perfect square number. So now let's identify which of these number is a perfect square number and which is not a perfect square number. So here first number is 1528. So let's check the unit digit of this number. The unit digit is 8. Can a number ends with 8? If a number ends with 8, then it is not a perfect square. So this number is not a perfect square as it a unit digit is 8. Unit digit can't be 8. If it ends with 8, it is not a perfect square number. So it is not next number 90. So check the unit digit is 0. So it can be. Next test, check the tens place. So tens place, if the unit digit is 0, then tens place should also be 0. So it will have even number of zeros. Perfect square should have even number of zeros. But here odd number of 0. So it is not a perfect square number. Next number 1459. So check the unit digit. First test, check the unit digit. Unit digit is 9. So come to the next test. Next test is check the tens place. The unit digit is 9. Tens place should be an odd number, even number. Is it an even number? No. So here it fails. It is not a perfect square. Next number 371. Check the unit digit. Unit digit is 1. So come to the next test. Check the tens digit. If the unit digit is 1, tens digit should be an even number. Is it an even number? No. So it fails here. It is not a perfect square number. Next number, 9801. First test, check the unit digit. Unit digit is 1. Yes, it passes. Second test, check the tens digit. Tens digit should be an even number. Yes, it is even number. It can be a 0, so it passes. Next test, check the divisibility by 8. As it is a 4 digit number, take the last 3 digit to check the divisibility by 8. 801. So divide by 8. So this is 100 times. 100 into 8 is 800. Reminder is 1. So if it is odd perfect square number, we will have the reminder 1. Yes, it is 1. So it passes this test. Next test, find the digit sum of this. So 9 plus 8 plus 0 plus 1. So the digit sum is 18. Again add this 1 plus 8, it's 9. So digit sum also passed. So as it passes all the four tests, this number might be a perfect square number. So next, 164. So first test, check the unit digit. Yes, passed. Next test, check the tens digit. Tens digit. Should be an even number? Yes, even number. Passed. Next, divisibility by 8 test. So, take the number 164 and divide by 8. As it is even number, it should leave the reminder 0 or 4. So, 164 divided by 8. Yes, it is 20 times and reminder is 4. So, passed. Next test, finding the digit sum. So, digit sum of this 164 is 1 plus 6 plus 4, which is 11. So again add 1 plus 1, it's 2. So digit sum failed. As digit sum is failed, this number is not a perfect square number. Next, 1836. So first check the unit digit. Unit digit is 6. Passed. 
next tens digit tens digit um, so tens digit should be an odd number yes odd number so past third test divisibility by 8 so take the last three digit and divide by 8 836 divide by 8 so it's 1 out 4 time and the reminder is 4 so past next test digits are so 1 plus 8 plus 3 plus 6 so it is 9 12 18 so again add so digit sum is 9 past so this number passes all the four tests so it might be a perfect square number next 185 so 185 first unit digit is 5 yes pass next tens place should be 2 but this tens place is 8 so fails this is not a perfect square number next check the unit digit unit digit is 2 so it is not a perfect square number as the unit digit is 2 it is not a perfect square number next 484 first unit digit 4 passed next tens digit should be an even number so yes even number passed next divisibility by 8 take the number 484 and divide by 8 so if you divide by 8 yes reminder is 4 so passed next finding the digit sum so 4 plus 8 plus 4 it's 16 so 1 plus 6 again it's 7 so digit sum passed so this number passes all the four tests so it might be a perfect square number so out of these numbers we have identified uh, the four three numbers which might be a perfect square number So out of these numbers, we have identified that uh, these numbers are not perfect squares or crossed out. Remaining numbers might be a perfect square number. But um, the four test that is checking the unit digit, checking the tens digit, checking the divisibility by 8, then checking the digit sum will tell you whether a number is non-perfect square. But if you want to confirm as it is perfect square numbers, then you have to do one more test which is prime factorization. Prime factorization tells you, confirms you that it is a perfect square number. So now let's take these three numbers and confirm whether it is perfect square number or not. Perfect square. So let's take the first number and do prime factorization. Only this prime factorization confirms as it is perfect square. So let's take the first number, prime factorization. Divide by prime numbers. So divide by 3, it's 3 times, then it's 2, 6, 7. Again divide by 3, so it's 1, 0, 8, 9. Again divide by 3, so it's 3, 6, 3. Again divide by 3, it's 1, 21. So it goes with 11 table, 11. So 11 is a prime number, stop. And now list out the factors, it is 3 into 3. So after listing the factors, make a pair. So now all the prime numbers are with a pair. So, if the numbers are with a pair, then you can say that it is a perfect square. And the square root of this number is, from this pair take one number, from this pair take one number, and from this pair take one number. So, 3 into 3, 9, 9 into 11, 99. So, 99 square is 9801. So, hence, this number is a perfect square number. So, to confirm it is perfect square, what we have to do is do prime factorization. Take the number and do prime factorization. After doing the prime factorization, list out the prime factors. And if there is a pair in the prime factors, then it is a perfect square number. So, now it is confirmed as it is perfect square number. Next number, let's check the next number. Next is 1836. Whether it is a perfect square number, let's confirm it. So divide by the prime number. So again divide by the prime number. So it is 4, 5, 9. So it goes with 3 table. 1, 5, 3. Again by 3 table. So 51. Again by 3 table. So it's 17. It is a prime number. So stop. Once you got the prime number, you can't divide further. Stop and list out the prime factors. So now... The factors have a pair. Yes, 2 is with a pair. 3. But these numbers are without pair. So, if 
it is not with a pair then you can say that it is a non perfect square even it has passed all the four test but this test confirms it is perfect square but here it is failed there is no pair for these numbers so it fails here and now we can tell that it is not a perfect square number this number is also not a perfect square number so prime factorization tells you confirms you it is perfect or non perfect yeah here it fails so it is non perfect this number is also a non perfect number next number 484 so let's do prime factorization divide by 2 so it's 242 again divide by 2 it's 121 it goes with 11 table 11 prime number stop now list out the factors and can we make a pair yes 2 into and 11 and 11 so none of the numbers left without a pair so they it is a perfect square number this number is also a perfect square and the square root is 22 22 square is 484 so this is a perfect square number so how to check a perfect or non perfect you can check uh, you can tell that it is a non perfect number by those four tests but if you have to confirm it is perfect square then do this prime factorization because sometimes uh, that four test might will not tell you that it is a perfect so if you want to confirm it as perfect square just do this prime factorization prime factorization helps you in confirming as it is perfect square